This is uh, June 4th, 2023, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, give or take. And this is our GT5000 uh, fire damage repair project. This is Dennis Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions, Homestead, Florida, USA. Um, since the last video, I checked the starter, and it appears to be working. It complained bitterly initially, but looks like it's working. The red cable's the right diameter, but too short. And uh, I don't know why, but they had the, bl the black cable going way back into the frame for some reason. So uh, for convenience, I put it closer, and it was a bigger diameter, so... Uh, I bought those cables online just to get it going. I've installed both the ignition coils. Um, this kill wire is not in that bad a shape, so I'm going to reuse it. I think that's the kill wire. It's the only other wire to kill the ignition. And that goes to ground uh, to stop it. So, I'm probably going to wire up the kill circuit to the key first. Because I want to make sure that... I can kill it and I'm going to try to start it uh, when I get around to that far but I want to make sure I can stop it but before I do that I'm going to replace these cables for throttle and choke so I can control the RPMs and stop the engine uh, and of course I want to check the clutch to see if the electric clutch has been damaged by the fire because that's an expensive part and would take some time for me to order it. If I bought another one, I'd probably buy a heavy duty one that uh, I saw online. But for now, I'm going to take a break. Uh, but that's where we are today on the GT 5000 2003. And it was the Sears model number 19. Uh, 917 decimal 276011 for the Craftsman and I bought it new and been using it uh, ever since and this is the third fire uh, that I'm recovering from this is the worst damage I've had so far uh, and this engine was overheating because there was plenty of dirt here in the in the engine fence so I want to wash that out before I put the cowling back on I want to make sure I get the uh, dirt off the cooling fins but the left cylinder was really clogged up and the right cylinder was but I'd run it for like 20 minutes and it overheat so I shut down and I thought it was a uh, problem with the engine timing but anyway I set these coils so they won't hit that magnet when as it spins around I gave it 10,000 clearance uh, and there's the magnet there and this was not charging in the battery either so I got to check the stator while I'm into it this far probably has a bad regulator but I put new coils on it because one of them burned pretty bad and uh, having new coils is better anyway anyway um, this is the project the GT5000 trying to get it running and determine if it's too badly damaged uh, or if I can fix it so hope you're enjoying the videos.